hello 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 my beautiful and my lovely people god bless you all richly in the name of jesus i have a word for someone today father lord will give you all the praise will give you all the honor will give you all the adoration may i speak your word and not mine in the name of jesus and i soak i'm covered with my fears with the precious blood of jesus amen don't let them break your mirror they are after your mirror what is your mirror your faith the word of god your sight. They want to divert what you see about yourself. The great things you see about yourself. They want to divert you away from studying the word of God. They want to divert you from your faith. They want to break that mirror from you. Because the word of God says, as far we can see, that is what you get. As a man thinketh in his heart, so it is. They want to divert your thinking, the media, what you hear, the people around you, the people you move with. What you're seeing. The things that you have been waiting for that have not yet answered is trying to break your mirror. And the moment you stop seeing, and the moment you stop believing, the moment you start dying. Because faith is very important. The devil knows that. That's why he's trying to divert you. That's why he's trying to deceive you. That's why he's trying to make you lose focus in that area. That's what he's trying to make you lose focus in prayer, in fasting. They want to break your mirror. That is, they, they know where your strength is. They know the moment you stop believing, you start dying. They know the moment you start studying the word of God, you start dying. They know the moment you start believing, you start dying. They know, they know where your strength is. Like the way they know where Samson's strength was. They want to cut off his head. His head was his mirror. It was his strength. What are you seeing right now? What is the media making you to see concerning yourself? What is the media making you to see concerning your marriage? What is all that marriage making you to see concerning your marriage? What are you seeing concerning your spiritual life? What are you doing? Are you doing things to please people or you are doing things to please God? Those people that is trying to deceive you out of faith, out of the will of God, they are trying to break your mirror. Because they know that you are seen, you, they know that you are just moving, you are stoppable. But they are trying to pull you back. Stop looking at the negative things and start looking at the positive things. God wants you to excel. But the devil wants to divert you. They are after you just to divert you because they know that is where your strength lies. The word of God, your faith, your sight, what you see matters a lot. You must learn to control your eyes. You must learn to control your ear. You must learn to move with the right people. You must not let what you see divert your, your attention from the word of God, from what you believe. God says he will do it for you. It may tarry. Wait. Your blessing is coming. Don't let nobody break your side from you. Keep on believing. The word of God says rejoice in hope. As a man thinketh in his heart, so it is. As far you can see, that is what you get. What are you getting now? What are you seeing now? Are you seeing that tomorrow will be better? Or you are seeing that every hope is lost? When you stand in the mirror and look at yourself, what do you see about yourself? Do you see that you are not good enough? Are you calling yourself a failure? When the word of God says the righteous will fall and they will rise again. What are you seeing about yourself? This moment I want you to stand at the mirror and see yourself. And tell yourself that you are great. The devil, you can't stop me. You can't deviate me. I know who I believe on. He called me the apple of his eyes. He said I will wait. If I wait, if I tarry not, if, if I faint not, I will reap everything. They are after your mirror, your faith. They want to divert your faith. That is what the devil wanted to do to Job. But Job was so strong. That is what they wanted to do to Job. But Job was so strong. The devil wanted to break his mirror. He wanted to break his strength. He wanted to take everything away for, for Job to cause God. For Job to say, there is no more God. But no, Job keep on hoping. Today, don't allow them to break your mirror. Be strong and be encouraged. I bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom.